a much more excited customer here. Sit. 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 Tito is always willing to take part here. I am really good to collar on him right away. That will help him. And it really does. You can kind of see a whole body language change. He just knows he's on. He doesn't have the options that he had before. You know, you can see right away. He's he's much looser with his collar, which because of that, I'm actually going to drop it one notch. It's kind of earned that. Good. He's got real nice attention and focus when he thinks something's going to happen. Good. But you can see if I didn't have him tethered off right now. His excitement level would be really hard to overcome and get anything constructive out of. So I feel like I have to, not literally, but strap these guys down to get their focus. And then as they start to form habits and understand the, what this thing is all about and really what to expect with it, I think part of it is they just don't know what to expect when we first start out. So it's new, it's a new place, it's a new everything. Then they start to understand what we're going to do and they're okay with it and they don't, they're not afraid of it. Then I can start to unstrap some of these parts to them and have them maintain their control. And if you do it too quickly, I think you lose their control. And if you lose their control, then you got to put the straps back on. But this is just a key part to starting him out. It's no different than healing off lead. Before I can do it off lead, I have to do it on lead, and I have to do it really well. And before I can do it real loose with a, um, incremental steps of getting them to be healing off lead, I back up and I put more and more and more control on it to start out with, which allows me to create a lot of success, which allows to have repetition and form a habit. And that's all that this is, is, it's no different. So he's in a real nice spot. I am going to go to this. This will get him excited. He loves to retrieve. He loves picking stuff up. He gets a little excited when it's in his mouth and he has the tendency, I know he has the tendency to rear his head back. Mull the... He, he's just real active with it. He's the one that I had to forcefully kind of hold just to get him to not screw off and have that thing in motion. And all I was looking for yesterday was to get him solid with it in his mouth without trying to fight me or move. And then I got out of it. And it went long a couple times. So I need to keep that in the back of my head and go, yesterday, those were the struggles. It's a, a high likelihood that we'll be back there today. And now i got to figure out how do I avoid it earlier to it. He's real interested in taking it. Hold. 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 Good. Hold. Good. Dead. Good boy. Quick and easy. In and out. And that was a good one. And I let him know it was good when it when it was good. So I'm hoping that he's just gonna put this together and go, huh, that's really all he needs. If you don't let them know what it is you want at the right time and let, so that they can understand it, they may continue to fight this thing going, I just don't know what the heck you want. He's got to understand what we want. So when he does it, i got to let him know that that's good. When he doesn't do it, that's when I can firm up. That's when my tone can change. That's when my verbal can come in to say, no, that's not what I want. Then he does it, that is what I want, good. i got to be just as quick to tell him good as I am correct to correct. Hold. You gotta have two hands on him, he's just too active. Hold. Hold. Good. Good. Hold. Dead. Good boy. Now with that one, he gets excited and starts to breathe, and you can hear it click, 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 click. It's on its teeth on his teeth. He's panting. His tongue is lifting this thing up. He's clearly not chomping down on it because it's click, click, click. It's loose in his mouth. What I'm trying to do is my second hand keeps his head from rearing up. He did that to me two days ago. Really fought it that way. So that was to keep it. And then what I did was as soon as I felt him stop putting pressure up on me, I slowly raised my hand, and you'll be able to see that. I slowly took the pressure off of him, and his head stayed, so I allowed it. If, if he had started to rear back, I'd have been right back here. On the bottom, I'm underneath supporting, 
and feeling to understand if he's going to put pressure on me down. And if he is, I'll put it back up and I'll neutralize it. If he doesn't, I may drop my hand to test. He's too, it's too early to do that right now. But I could drop. I will drop my hand. I did it with Elsa today. Drop my hand down to see if he stays. If he comes with, then I'll put it back up. Then I'll feel that pressure. As soon as I can come down and he stays, then it's really important to let him know, good, that's exactly what we want. Good, good, good. Then get out of it before it goes too long. With him, he's a dog that his attention span and focus is relatively short. He's easily excited. And when things get going too good, he's real easily, he can go the opposite way and it can really go bad. And then you're stuck because you can't end it. So when it goes good, you got to end it and get out. I always say get out with wins. Get out with wins. If you got a chance to get out and there's a win, and he's going to gain something from it, get out of the drill. Hold. Real light today. He's real light with his mouth. Hold. And he wasn't like this yesterday. Hold. Almost too light, but I'm not going to. Hold. Hold. Good. Good. Hold. I bring my hand down, he comes down. Hold. Dead. 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 I just want to get it out. Good. He's, I think, not sure if he should really chomp at it and hold on to it hard, or if he should be super light. And I'm trying to figure out how to get him to understand it, be in the middle. So I'm going to do one more because that was good, and then we're going to get out of this too. Three quick lessons today. Hold. 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 Good. Hold. Hold. Dead. Dead. Good. The, 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 the dropping of it, the dead part, a little tricky for him. He's not sure if he should really let it go or not. That's something I'll work on later. But I'm th glad we had three or four good holds without a lot of fighting me today. It's a nice step in the right direction, and from that we'll build on.